Hello and welcome to World Watch on Oweleke TV. I am Antonia Mokolo. A recent survey conducted by the Economist in YouGov reveals a prevailing sentiment among Americans regarding the potential outcome of the 2024 U.S. presidential election, presenting a hypothetical matchup between former President Donald Trump and President Joe Biden. The poll asked participants not whom they would support, but who they believe would emerge victorious in such an election scenario. The findings indicate a divided perception among respondents, with both Trump and Biden receiving 44% support in a direct contest. However, when it comes to expectations of victory, 45% of those surveyed predict Trump would win, surpassing the 34% who foresee a Biden triumph. The poll also notes 21% remain undecided on the matter. The sentiment leans more distinctly towards Trump among registered voters, with 44% betting on his victory against 37% vying for Biden. The confidence gap widened further along party lines with 84% of Republicans expressing confidence in Trump's success compared to the 73% of Democrats who believe in Biden's chances. Israeli forces will expand military operations in Rafah if hostages held by Hamas are not returned by the start of Ramadan. War Cabinet Minister Ben Gantz said the Muslim holy month is expected to start on March 10 or 11, and Gantz's comments appear to be clearest deadline yet for Israeli military action in the southern Gaza city, where more than 1 million displaced Palestinians are taking shelter near the Egyptian border. Israel has said its plans to expand ground operations into Rafa as part of its goal to destroy Hamas after the October 7 attacks. But there is growing concern that the roughly 1.5 million Palestinians sheltering there will have nowhere to go. California is bracing for heavy rainstorms that forecasters say might produce tornadoes, a relatively rare phenomenon for a state that has experienced other forms of extreme weather recently. Much of California faces flood risks, but experts say the state was unlikely to experience damage like that produced by an atmospheric river two weeks ago. That phenomenon dumped up to a year's worth of precipitation in some areas, knocked out power to nearly one million customers and killed nine people. The Sacramento Valley and the agricultural corridor that includes the cities of Stockton and Modesto may experience tornadoes on Monday. For Kate Forrest, a meteorologist with the National Weather Service in Sacramento, California, averages 11 tornadoes a year, but they tend to be brief and weak compared with the fearsome twisters that devastate towns in the Midwest or Southeast. That's all we have for you on World Watch. I am Antonia Mokolo. Follow us on our social media handles at Ubeleke TV. Visit our website at www.ubeleke.tv for a thrilling journey. Ubeleke TV, rising star out of fairground.